Survey finds that American Muslims are more Islamophobic than most religious groups. Wow. What okay. does that even mean, though? Okay. The American Muslim Poll 2022, a politics and pandemic status report by the Institute for Social Policy and Understanding, or ISPU for short, has found that American Muslims are more quote-unquote Islamophobic than most religious groups, or at least the religious groups that they surveyed. Um, ranking third overall, uh, <laughs> ahead, uh, they, they ranked ahead of Jews, Protestants, unaffiliated, meaning atheists like us, and the general public. Using the quote-unquote Islamophobia Index, um, a measurement, which is a measurement of a group's endorsement of anti-Muslim stereotypes, the ISPU graded Muslims at a 26 out of 100 in the index, behind Catholics, who were at 28, and white evangelicals, who were ranked the most Islamophobic at 30 out of 100. Um... Irul so they rank two? Well, the only two. The no, no, only three. Oh, three. They were okay, third. So Kath okay, they were third. Out of how many? Sorry. Out of how many? Groups? Um, Let me see. There was Jews, Protestants, unaffiliated, general public, Muslims themselves, Catholics, Atheist. and evangelicals. So Atheists? Seven. Atheist? Atheists? Atheists are unaffiliated. Unaffiliated. Okay. okay. Yeah. How do so, we rank? Well, no, we're, we're going to get into it. Okay, okay. Um, Irum Ikramula, a co-author of the report, explained that minority groups, quote, can internalize negative stereotypes about their community. Abed sure. Ayub, the legal and policy director of the Arab American Anti-Discrimination Committee, sees the rise of Christian nationalism and white supremacy as the primary influence on how American Muslims view their group and urged his fellow Muslims to discuss differences within their beliefs before, quote, right-wing media spaces fill that void. Okay. Mm. So this is, this is, wait, 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 wait. I want to think, I, I think that there are other explanations but this is just like blame everything on the white man situation, isn't it? This is like this okay. cannot be they some legitimately, internal. Oh yeah, they okay, legitimately okay. did blame this on white Muslims. Okay, so they have they they can't explain. This is like the God of the Gap situation. This is the white man of the gaps, right? Okay, so but yeah, Go in on. in the show notes you'll see that I put two things that we can look at. So the first one is just the general overview of how each group ranked. And then the second thing to show is actually the breakdown of races within Muslims. And if you look at that second page, um, you'll see that white Muslims, according to their measurements, do legitimately rank much higher in the Islamophobia index than Arab Muslims, black Muslims, et cetera, et cetera. Right. I have I have some theories on this or hypotheses. Okay. okay. I think there are multiple so they went they went just like, oh, it must be the right leaning bigots. Okay. And it might be, okay, it might be, but they haven't exhausted all the possibilities. It's amazing that they from all the possibilities, because the study doesn't show the reason, okay? But they have to just like uh, go like they're go in like focus on that one explanation because it's just the easiest way out it's just the easiest way out to uh, blame everything on like right-leaning um western bigots right there um, is I so much about this report that is so politically inconvenient <laughs> it's no, actually really. crazy <laughs> oh it's it's crazy <laughs> right so one explanation might be um muslims having issues with different sects of muslims you know what i mean because like you being part of the sect of Islam that you are, if you if somebody asks you about general Muslims as a whole, when you really when you think about general Muslims as a whole, you're gonna think about all the other sects of Muslims and you go like, yeah, all those mofos, right? Like, I don't like them, right? And but that's like not the most convincing uh, theory I have. I think it also might be, and this is just a guess. I have no idea if this is true. American Muslims. When you tell them what do you think about Muslims, they're thinking about immigrant Muslims. Okay. When you go to an American Muslim Maybe. and think, oh, what do you think about Muslim? They what comes to their minds are outsider Muslims. And they're scared <laughs> and they don't like them, right? They don't like them. And in fact, a lot of them 
are interested in providing barriers for them not to come to America, uh, not just because they were like, them. I came to America to get away from them. Yeah, they're like, we. there's a reason why we left that world behind. <laughs> but it's, it's sad. Could it really be like that, though? Yeah, but also, also because they think like they're going to, their behavior, like these other Muslims that they're afraid of, is going to make other Americans think badly on them as well. So we're like, Actually. we have... We have a reputation to uphold here. We have been working so hard in making Americans feel, think highly of us. We, you know, we have invested millions of dollars in this, and we're like even having high-ranking polit politicians in like Congress and everywhere. Like we have worked so hard in this, right? So if you just open the door to all Muslims, they're gonna come here and they're gonna like <laughs> destroy this reputation that we built, worked so hard to build, right? So that might be something that might be one reason why they're in, in favor of like closing the door. Okay, but, yeah. Armin, I'm going to give you yeah. a huge, uh, a huge props because you basically got into something that this study talks about, about why they think this oh. is the case. So I'll read from the study. You basically just guessed you, it. Don't even need a study. Just come ask me. <laughs> I, know exactly, I, I knew you were going to say no, that. I'm, I'm, so I'm here's a quote. Another noteworthy, noteworthy and alarming finding were that the disproportionately negative views among white Muslims who are the most likely to report experience seeing some regular discri religious discrimination. So out of all the different races of American Muslims that they surveyed, it was the white Muslims who say that they experienced the most discrimination. Um, some studies on internalized racism By who? have surprised... I, I can't get into that right now. Um, some studies on internalized racism have surprisingly found that endorsing negative stereotypes about one's own group is associated with a higher locus of control. So what that means for those who don't speak psychology terms is basically that when you face a form of discrimination, if you endorse some of those discriminatory ideas, it's a way that you gain a more of sense of control because you're basically separating yourself from the group. So they say, this suggests that internalized prejudice may actually be a defense mechanism against the trauma of bigotry at the hands of the dominant group by agreeing with those in power, but believing that one has the choice, aka that's mm. how you're establishing control, to not be like those tropes. Mm. To not be like the stereotypes. And like, then, yeah. So oh, this is like the, this is like, a, um, what is it called? Token black person or token trans person. You know, like if you, okay, kind so to of. be fair to, kind of like when you come on like, you know what, right-leaning bigots, you're right about trans people, okay? Most of them are the way that you're saying they are, but not me, I'm the special one. Please let me in, like kind of like that. Like I'm I'm like the good trans person. Like I'm the, I'm not like those other black people, like please, you know. Yeah, so it might be, it might be. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Okay, go on. Oh my gosh. So- Anyway, so it says more research is needed to fully understand the why and how of internalized Islamophobia. Hmm. This concept of internalized Islamophobia doesn't seem entirely consistent to me. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. yeah, what does that even mean, though, Islamophobia? Like, how are they defining it here? Because basically, they like what they mean is anti-Muslim sentiments. Why is it calling it? This is... Yeah. Anyways, but there is so much we need to get into. This is crazy. So I was diving into it. First of all, we need to understand the Islamophobia index, as they call it. So the Islamophobia index is measured in terms of how much the person surveyed agrees with five statements. Okay. So I will give you the five statements, and then they are measured individually per statement. Mo okay. One, most Muslims living in the United States are more prone to violence than others. Two. Most Muslims living in the United States discriminate against women. And then I'm just going to cut out the United States because it's like... Very Wait, bad. most Muslims discriminate against women? These are the statements, and then they measure how much the person being surveyed agrees or disagrees. And okay. that's how they measure the Islamophobia. Does it, have, does it have an I don't know option or no? Um, Not that I'm aware of. You okay. can just... it's It's a scale of how much you agree or disagree. So... Most Muslims are hostile to the United States. Most Muslims oh, are less civilized than other people. 
Most Muslims are partially responsible for acts of violence carried out by other Muslims. What's, so that's, what, the, read that, read that's what again? That's what again? The last one is basically collective guilt. Most Muslims are partially responsible for acts of violence carried out by other Muslims. You want you want to answer these? Leave me and you to answer this here on air, or should oh. we do that? Yeah. So you read the first one. Let's me and well, you I would, I would disagree with basically all of these. Me too. Because especially okay. because the the impetus is on the word most. Yeah, most. I would say more than other people on average. Okay, but the question is not like compared to average. Is it higher? The question is mm -hmm. most. And if it's asking most, exactly. my answer would be no to all five. But if the question would, would be relative to average, are they higher? My answer would have been probably yes to all five. It depends. It doesn't, yeah. Wait, to all five? Let me look at it. Most fun and discriminate against. Yeah. Relative to average, they're, they score less, but not most of them. So yeah so yeah okay. we will me and you will be uh get zero out of five islamophobic then that's weird honestly I yeah we, we would rank lower than most american muslims then <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah we me, basically what this says is that me and susanna think better ha, than of most american muslims than american muslims and they can, then they tell me and susanna that we're islamophobic next time and uh, next time an american muslim tell calls us islamophobic Tell them that we actually think high, higher of them than they do. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So um, one thing that I think is really interesting is that um, they, okay, so then in, maybe I can pull up my show notes, like this might be um, good to actually get a display because it's not very easy to pull up in the PDF. Let me see if I can because I put screenshots in my notes. Let me see if I can share this. Sometimes my computer gets upset. Okay. Um, can you see this? Maybe yes. I should zoom in a little bit. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, here we go. So here's the first one. One quarter of Muslims agree with the trope that Muslims are prone to violence. So 25% agree of Muslims. Okay, so, but here, here, okay. In the blue, we see disagree. How many of this, how many of the groups Muslims that they're or American disagree? Muslims? It, it, in all of these, insert United States, insert okay. American. Okay. No, no, okay, but so, insert American in the first Muslim or the second Muslim? So one, so, or both All of, of this is about the beliefs American towards Muslims. American Muslims. American Muslims, okay, okay. Um, so this is all domestically focused. Okay. One quarter of Muslims agree with the trope that Muslims are prone to violence. Okay, but let's look at this. Okay, so the disagree, they're all in blue. Jewish people most highly disagree with that statement. Wow. <laughs> Out of every group, who agrees with the statement that Muslims are prone to violence the most? Muslims Mus agree the most. The most. Wait, maybe they don't think that's a negative. <laughs> maybe, mm. like, like, maybe they're like, hell yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. You I don't do think it. so. <laughs> it's hilarious. No, and then here's the thing that is so important. So on all of these five questions that are make up the Islamophobia index, they also look at who was born into the Muslim background, born into the Muslim faith, and who converted. In every mm -hmm. single one of these factors, because I thought, oh, okay, well, it's all these white Muslims that are driving, apparently, according to the authors, it's all the white Muslims to blame for this. Mm -hmm. Here's the difference, though. I thought that they would be referring to converts. No. On every single one of these measures, it is people who are born Muslim, quote unquote, who are more likely to agree with these statements than the people who are converts. The people who are converts are substantially less likely to okay, agree okay. with the stereotypes maybe maybe okay here's another theory okay maybe it's like i've seen but because they're part of the community okay so they've seen a lot of darkness <laughs> they're like let me tell you i've seen some this was my <laughs> point i yes. was like what if there is just growing awareness of more yes. internal issues within the community yeah they just know they're just too close they're too close to the problem to deny it 
Maybe. But here's the but thing. Even, so but here's the thing. Even even if even if that's their perception, their perception is not accurate. Okay, like because maybe they see a lot of dark stuff, so they have a perception that there's a lot of problems there. But the question is, most of them are most Muslims are prone to violence, and most of them aren't. To be honest, okay, like most of them are not even most like most of them would faint if they see blood. <laughs> 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 like I'm serious. Like not well. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but I just don't think like, like maybe they've seen some things that makes them think like, okay, our community has serious problems with violence. Okay, but their their personal experiences does not represent the vast majority of the community. Like for that, you only need to refer to polls and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, American Muslims are, you know, for you to get most Muslims being prone to to even agree with violence, not prone to violence, just agree with violence, you have to go into, I don't know, like Pakistan or Egypt, you know, or Palestine, you know, you don't get that from American Muslims. And even when you go to Egypt or Pakistan, you don't get people that do violence themselves mostly. You got you get people that will sign off to you like, yes, I don't know, kill, kill a They'll Palestine. They'll endorse but, it. But, yeah, yeah. I won't do it myself, but I'll endorse somebody else doing it. Like, even then, that's what you get. So American Muslims, no, you don't get that. Like, yeah, go yeah. On. Okay. This report is so disingenuous, too. Okay, so also, it, I thought this was so interesting. Muslims born into the faith are more likely than those not born into the faith to agree that Muslims are misogynistic. Wow. Amazing. Almost a quarter it, of those who are born into it agree. This must be based on personal experience. And then this this is where the report gets so disingenuous. I hated this. Look at the title of this figure. Muslims as likely as Catholics and white evangelicals to agree that Muslims are hostile to the United States. Look at this figure, though. Okay, again, we're looking at orange. Orange for agree. Catholic, okay, 11%. White evangelical, 12%. As likely, no, they're not they, as likely. They are the most likely at 19%. Well, what's the misleading title then? Because What it, the hell? It, 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 yeah, as likely. No, they're the, more, the, the most likely. What are you talking the, about? It's so disingenuous. What? I don't understand. Why, why would they show the graph? Are we missing something here? Maybe we're missing something here. Why would they show the graph that shows something else and have a title that is saying something different? Okay, I mean, technically, in some ways, they are as likely because not only are they as likely to be as to, to agree with this statement, but actually more likely. So technically, really? as likely is still true. <laughs> See what no. I mean? No, because if but, it's as likely, that means that we're reaching you no, know, they're equaling their baseline. But in reality, it's actually above that baseline. But technically, it's still met and exceeded that baseline. So as likely is technically true. But yeah. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, that's weird. This is why I go read these guys when I they should have bring they should reports have... to you. Thank you, Susanna. Yeah, by the guys, give a like because Susanna just don't, doesn't read the title. She goes into the like. If this was another news show, for example, it was a news show that would just with me, I would just be like, read the title and the summary. I'm like, oh my god, amazing! But Susanna actually goes and opens the study. Okay, so please like th say thank you, Susanna, in the live chat or, so or something. Okay, guys, acknowledge this is like this is really good. Hey, Harris Sultan is here with a comment. Look at uh, out of every group. Jewish people are the most likely to disagree with the statement that Muslims are less civilized. Out of every group, who is the most likely to agree that Muslims are less civilized? Muslims. Muslims. Okay, see, the other ones... The other by ones, multiples. I, by multiples. Yeah, that's like huge difference. A huge difference. Okay, but here's the thing. I was thinking that maybe with the misogyny and the violence... There are some of these Muslims that are saying less, we are more likely, and that's a good thing. You know what I mean? Because, like, for example, the American, anti being anti-American or something like that, they were like, yeah, of course we're anti-American, and why shouldn't we be? Like, at least a few percentages of them. But I was like, is that what's explaining it? But no, not this one. Like, who mm -hmm. no, Muslims wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, they were less civilized, and you were proud of it. Like, who's proud of being less civilized? Okay, they're not proud of that. So... This is weird. So they are actually 
against their own community in that way. Harris Sultan is read. You want to read the response to Harris Sultan in the live chat? Hi, Harris. Harris is saying, aren't they trying to say that just like Christians and Catholics, Muslims also think? But no, it's it as likely. Yeah, technically, yes, but the phrasing of as likely makes it seem like it's on par. It's hiding the fact that it actually exceeds. Yeah, um, Door oh, Head Door is head thank, is you. In. thank you, Suzanne. Well, thank you, Doorknob Head. Okay, let's see what else I pulled out of here as a note that I wanted to dive into. Oh, yeah, out of every group, in terms of who agrees with Muslim collective guilt the most, Muslims agree with Muslim collective guilt the most. Why? And again, is it is not converts who are driving these results. It is people born into the Muslim faith, the Muslim background, really? who mm. agree with this the most. Read the title for people. Some people don't know oh. what you mean by collective guilt. Okay, so the title of this figure says Muslims most likely to agree that Muslims are partially responsible for acts of violence carried out by others. Why would they be okay? They agree with Harris Sultan. They disagree with me. <laughs> why would they? Be, why would you be responsible for stuff that you didn't do? Like, and they call That's us Islamophobic. <laughs> like, why would like? Oh yeah, we're responsible for acts of by other people who happen to be mu Muslims, and we didn't do what? You're you're punishing yourself. You feel guilty for something you didn't do. That makes no sense. This is what collective thinking does to you. Well, I mean, maybe, okay, this is not me endorsing or excusing anything. This is just me completely speculating. Maybe there are situations in which people observe attitudes that are harmful within their own community and the ways in which other community members and stakeholders don't step up and shut that down. And so they're saying when these things happen within our community, we allow these attitudes to fester. So in a way, we are responsible. Does that make sense? That's some level of like higher level of introspection that i did not ex expect from anybody you know what i mean mm. like no community like i mean if this is the case we have to look forward to a lot of progress from the muslim community i mean i don't agree with this point but people who have views like this might be motivated to do a lot to fix this do you know what i mean like if you have this this many people that are like yes we have a misogyny problem yes we have like a pro violence problem yes we're not we're not pro American enough but this is our country and we are too against our own country uh, yes <laughs> we are responsible for acts of violence because we're not doing enough to call it out like if this if if a quarter of them feel like this I think like that means that there's a bright future for American okay, Muslims. here's the thing, but the by this report, this is being characterized as anti-Muslim and Islamophobic. If it's coming from that perspective, yeah. then they're getting woke. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, what? Um, like, in, th no. this report is no. framing these agreements with these statements as anti-Muslim, yeah, as bigoted, as, as internalized not, as anti bigotry. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying if it's coming from the perspective of we are identifying problems within our community, then it isn't right, right, right. bigoted. Oh, it's yeah. actually becoming conscious. Okay, yeah, but you have, but okay, no, no, but woke and is it's only a disservice being... if that's the case to have it be framed as bigotry. Right, 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 right. You're saying that if white people were being aware of the problems within their own community, we we're like, yes, that's well, good job. But when Muslims try to do the same thing, they don't like, oh yeah, good, you're dealing the problems with your community. They're like, no, that's Islamophobic. Imagine how condescending, like, this, these guys are biggest themselves because when Muslims are trying to deal with the problems with their community, these non-Muslims are telling Muslims that you're being Islamophobic. <laughs> well, this was oh, made no. by an Islamic organization. Oh, okay. They're not okay, non-Muslims. I mean, okay, I mean, okay. this I'll study. <laughs> I mean, but still, should I talk still, about the funding of this study? Oh, but yeah. How is it Islamic organization when it's funded by Soros? You told me it was funded by Soros. How is this Islamic? The organization yeah. itself is, oh, is it? explicitly like for the purposes of implementing and creating policies in regards to the Muslim population in America. I don't know but how are much... They Muslim... No, wait. So it's about Muslims. Are they Muslims themselves, the people? Who... I looked on their oh. website. It seemed extremely Islamically is... led. Okay. It, it's, it was like... Everything about this website was just like Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. 
Okay, but it might be about Muslim, 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 rather than we are Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. You the authors I mean? are Muslim. The authors of this study okay, okay. are Muslim. The authors right, right. of many of their okay. other projects right, are leading this organization. Okay, okay. Tell us about the funding you were going to say about the funding. Oh, yeah. So I was looking into the funding today of this study, and there were other sources that funded it, okay? But one in particular caught my attention. I was like, acknowledgments. We would like to thank, like, the following organizations for the funding that made this study possible. And I was like, the Open Societies Foundation. I was like, wait a second. Is this what I think it is? I go Google it. Yes, it is George Soros's. <laughs> Okay, but just to be clear, guys, here we don't we just um, amuse by because we are not anti Soros ourselves. Okay, like uh, we think anybody who has an issue, uh, most not anybody, most of the people people have an issue with Soros, 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 like oh my God, Soros here, Soros there, they're anti Semitic. Okay, yeah, but we just find it amusing that this might the fact that this partially was funded by the uh, Soros organization might lead to a lot of people questioning the results of the study, right? Like, yeah, yeah. so there's that. I, okay. It caught my attention. I was like, very interesting. Yeah. Um, but be careful yeah. because when you say very interesting, people might think oh, that you're signaling, right. people might think that you're signaling conspiracy theories. We're, we're not I'm doing not trying that. to do that. It just. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, I should shut up before I say something that I accidentally <laughs> get in trouble for that I don't even mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, oh. Hara Sultan is saying, when we have our individualistic hat on, then we shouldn't feel bad for being part of a group committing atrocities. But when we have a group hat on, it's okay to blame groups holistically because when we are dealing with groups, we're dealing with likeliness and unlikeliness quote, this group is 10 times more likely to commit an act of violence if challenged on his religious belief. So yeah, you're making you're making the distinction between how we treat individuals versus how we discuss groups on average. Yeah, but, uh, but when you are talking about groups, every time uh, you cannot come up with blame, because anytime we talk about blame, blame only makes sense within the context of you talking about individuals. All right, so we can discuss groups, but you cannot blame groups. We could only blame individuals individually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when, because this report, no, actually I should pull up this quote because it made me so pissed. Okay. Here's a quote from someone who was writing about this article or responding to this study. Mustafa Bayoumi, a professor of English at Brooklyn College City University of New York, suggested that it's a crisis of whiteness that has affected white Muslims too. Quote, with the whole community being driven by conservative politics centered on whiteness, it's naive to think that white Muslims would not be susceptible to that same ideology. Wow. This is just What like the hell a is a crisis of whiteness? <laughs> Amazing. But here's the thing, what kind of contradicts that is according to this same institution, I was, they, they had a study on white Muslims from a few years ago. Cause I'm like, okay, who are these white Muslims that they keep talking about? Are they converts? Where are they coming from? According to their own research from 2017, most white Muslims are born abroad they're not born in the U.S. and most white Muslims are not converts. They so were why born are they blaming the white background. ones? So why are they trying to pin it on the white ones? Because wait, let me pull up something else. This Out is of, intersectional. Like they're like, oh my god, we can't blame the Muslims unless we find something about them that we could like. This is like, like they have no proof for this based based on their own admission, right? They're just trying to find a way to blame the Muslims without looking like they're blaming. Uh, oppressed group like let's just find the ones that have some negative intersectionality points even though they're muslim at least they're white so let's just focus on them so here's what, here's where they're getting it from so in this figure you can see over time how different races of american muslims have pulled on this Islam islamophobia index and right. we see that after we'll after 2019, there's been a huge increase of the white Muslims being more quote unquote Islamophobic, mm. skyrocketing up to 40% in the most recent poll. 
compared to the next most quote unquote Islamophobic Muslim group is black Muslims. At okay, so they have they're, they have evidence that. Yeah, but their idea is about why are which is about a crisis which, of whiteness. The crisis of whiteness. I mean, look at this graph. This is a crisis of whiteness. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, okay. But why is this? Why do you think it, this is like, okay, so they're just saying like, it's just the whiteness. It's just whiteness. As, essentially, whiteness is a problem, right? They're kind of making it seem like that. Like the, the answer, like when you ask why, like you go, because they're white, right? Of but course. here's the <laughs> thing. They also pulled their survey group on critical race theory. And out of the groups that were familiar with critical race theory, um, the white Muslims were more Wait. likely to agree about with the critical tenets of critical race theory. Wait, the white Muslims are more likely to agree with critical race theory? Than the general population and more likely to agree than black Wait, Muslims. So, so how is the white, how is whiteness now? A how is it a then? crisis of whiteness? <laughs> They agree with you. They agree with your CRT stuff. I don't understand. This is confusing. So the white Muslims are the most confusing group here, okay? Because at the same time, they agree with CRT, okay? And it also, they think they're Islamophobic. <laughs> so they're like, Muslims are violent, and they're like uncivilized. And wait, I'm not saying this, by the way, guys, the YouTube, I'm reading, this is the poll, okay? And you're summarizing the opinions of others. Yeah, and they're un-American, and like, they, these are dangerous, dangerous people, okay? But also, CRT makes sense. Like, what is this? This is so confusing. It um, makes no sense. Maybe, maybe they're just so polarized, right? So maybe, like, the 25% who has these so-called Islamophobic views are not the same group that has a CRT views. Maybe it's just the most polarized group among them. Yeah. What's really interesting is that a lot of um, these findings were broken down by age as well. And so they found that these attitudes were more likely among younger Muslims. So then they were talking about the post 9-11 generation and basically having the media landscape that existed after 9-11 influencing the beliefs about the Muslims have about themselves as they grew up you know, after, um, 2001. So that kind of makes more sense to me. Um, or that's a better kind of idea about what could be going on. Um, but overall I found this whole study fascinating. And here's a huge problem that I have. They gave the overall sample size for the different religious groups that they examined. And I think there were like, almost 300 Muslims, like 1000 from the general population, all sorts of stuff. But they did not give the sample sizes as broken down by race. Because I want to say you, you're making all these strong claims and accusations about these white Muslims, how many were actually included in this sample, they don't say, which is a huge problem. We should have that we should have had that German Muslim guy ready for this segment. The the clip about is you know oh the wait is the done. people aren't ready for G germanic islam my favorite germanic video. Islam. <laughs> wait, give me a second when he's screaming about jihad <laughs> okay you go uh you go find that i'm gonna read two comments um harry sultan is saying i've been thinking about it it's one of the things that we discussed we'll disagree on it on, on that on wednesday yes guys me and harris have a show on his channel and on secular jihadist channel um me and we're gonna do this every wednesday um, Harris Sultan is the new co-host on Secular Jihadist, so make sure you subscribe both to Harris Sultan's YouTube channel and the Secular Jihadist YouTube channel. And if you are a Patreon on either his Patreon or my, uh, or the Secular Jihadist Patreon, you get to uh, send us your, your questions ahead of time, and we will answer them live on air for you. So there's that. And also, if you're a YouTube member on either his channel or on the Secular Jihadist channel, you will be able to come up and talk to us uh, live on air. So yeah, look forward to that on Wednesday. Uh, I'm so excited there's... that you guys are going to be working on that together now. Okay, wait, yeah. I have it. Okay. Wait, go. <laughs> so for those who um, are not watching, you're only listening. That the caption or the title of this video is "The world is not ready for Germanic Islam." <laughs> this is my yeah. favorite. 
die Menschen bringen. Wir müssen die Dauer in jedes Haus bringen. Wir müssen die Dauer überall hinbringen. Wir können keine Blockhütte im Wald bauen, wo wir Dauer drauf schreiben und dann warten, bis irgendeiner sich verläuft. Oh Why is that so scary? Why is that so scary? I didn't know Islam in German, in German language. It would be so scary. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For those who don't speak German, he's like screaming about bringing Dawa everywhere. He's like, we need to bring the Dawa everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, he does remind me. Yeah. He reminds me yeah. of a certain kind of dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, read this comment by Satya. Um, Satya is saying, Muslims are more Islamophobic than even us Hindutva. Looks like Hindutva has got some work to do, <laughs> JK. <laughs> uh, well, I actually, I mean, there wasn't any Hindus polled in this, any American Hindus polled in this event. In this yeah, survey, I'd be curious. I'd be very yeah, I would. About that. I would be very curious to see how American Muslims are doing. Yeah, um, we also oh, need we this get... poll among. We need this poll in India. <laughs> yes. Oh, let me get um, the. Oh, you already okay. you had some images to show. Uh, you already showed the images that you sent me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already showed everything. Wait, wait. No, you didn't show this one. Oh well, I kind of described it. So this is just okay. um, how all the different religious groups compared to each other. So no, I wanted to see. Look at us, guys! Look at us! Look at us! We are the most. I, I, I don't only second to Jewish people. They tell us atheists and non affil non the nuns, the non religious people. They keep telling us that we're the Islamophobic ones. We're the least. I mean, right after the Jews. Why do Jewish people score highest on everything? Like everything, like you know iq education god like uh, technology like you know what we should not just be islamophobic the they're just killing it wherever being... they go <laughs> yeah 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 we should just ex exclude them from polls like they're just like it doesn't make it's not fair because they yeah, skew look... all the <laughs> they skew yeah. all the results yeah look even though we're second they're like better than us by a huge margin look at mm -hmm. this like they're better than everybody else by a huge margin just like every, everything else god damn it all right but we're the second we're second look we're doing very good. So don't call us Islamophobic. On average, we're doing fine. By the way, yeah. when I do collectivist jokes, I don't actually mean it, okay? Like, I don't, when I'm like, oh, look at us, we're doing so well, okay? When, every time I'm doing a collectivist judgment on something, it's a joke. It's, it's a joke. Yeah. I don't think in, oh, I don't think in groups. Oh, Horace is um, asking me for this study. Horace, please uh, send me a message on WhatsApp and I'll send it to you. I have the full PDF of the actual report itself as well. So I will save you some time and research. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. Thank <laughs> you.